Good evening, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. It's nine o'clock at night. How are you all today? <laughs> Didn't think I was going to get to do this, but then I thought, no, I got to say cheerio to my peeps before Pius and I head off to the Dominican on Thursday, but we are going to be in Toronto all day tomorrow. We've got some stuff to do. So we figured we would uh, kill two birds with one stone because we are staying at um, a hotel near the airport and that's where we're leaving the truck. But enough of that. Today's bag, this evening's bag, tonight's bag is absolutely beautiful. It is very trending right now. I say this all the time. These short little shoulder bags are huge right now. And that reminds me, before I leave this shed, I need to grab the bag that I am going to be using. Where'd it go? Because if I don't do it now, I will forget. There it is. I said I was going to take the gold fossil and I am going to take the gold fossil. This um, is on the uh, Shop of the Shed, uh, leatherbaglady.com. It's one of the pound bags. If you follow Shop of the Shed, you know what that means. So, I digress, which I always do. So this little bag, I do not think this bag has even been used. So let's unpack it because there's a little bit going on here. So you have a back slip pocket. I really like the smooth leather with that little bit of a sheen on it. There's your, it's a Gianni Bernini, which is a fairly, reg, like it's a fairly common Italian brand but very good quality nonetheless. So open this baby up and you have this initial compartment. There's your Gianni Bernini zipper pocket. I have no clue what this little compartment would be for. I've dated this as a 90s bag. There is no foam pouch, but you could possibly slip your phone in there if you wanted to. And this is a large Samsung S21, I do believe. So that will fit. Now, the star of this show is this front compartment. You have a key lanyard or a key, whatever you want to call it, a slip pocket, a pocket, a zippered divider, and then you've got this internal wallet that has a really good number. One, two, three. So six slip pockets, which, you know, if I mean, this is not a daily driver bag. I would not have thought. And the zip goes all the way around. How cool is that? But it doesn't stop there. If you wanted to use this baby as a clutch, you could. You just take the strap off. You could use it as a wristlet if you want it. You could use it, as I said, as a clutch if you want it. And if you have a longer strap at home and you want to use it as a crossbody, why not? These come off and you can absolutely use it as a crossbody. I am rather partial to the short shoulder because it is just so hot right now. It really is and has been for quite some time. So that is today's little beauty. Look at the sheen on this. I just love it. The leather has a few little indentations here. But you know what? Calf, I mean, cowhide is cowhide. You never know. Like this is more creased than this side. There's no two pieces of leather that are the same because it's a natural substance. As I've said many times before, that's why your Kate Spades, your fossils will put that heavy acrylic layer on the top so that their leather appearance is very uniform. I don't like it, but there you go. The glazing, the devil glazing is all in pristine condition. Like I said, do not think this bag has been used. There you go. That is today's little beauty. So, 
if you are going to purchase anything from now until the 26th of, why is my arm red? Oh, it's my uh, water, my water liquid, like my Mio or whatever you call it has gotten all over me. I thought I was bleeding. So if you purchase anything from either Shopify, Shop at the Shed, leatherbaglady.com, that's my one uh, platform, or my Etsy platform, you are not going to get any shipping from now until the 26th of April. So I am going to change the dates on my shipping profile to reflect that. Um, we're going away. We're going away. We are in holiday mode. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> we are packing and having a little drinky poo. And uh, I was like, oh. <gasps> I had a pretty lengthy conversation with a girlfriend earlier and um, it took way longer than I thought it was going to take. And I am now scrambling. So I've just kind of thrown stuff in the suitcase. We'll see. Um, but yes, we're having a drinky poo while we're packing. I've done this hand nails. I have not done this hand. So this one takes me longer because it's not I'm right handed. And this is my right hand. So hopefully this one will not take me as long. Oh, God, it takes me ages. But I'm a perfectionist where it comes to this or as close to as I can possibly be. And I'm getting really quite good at it, in my humble opinion. So that's still to be done. I've just polished Pius's deck shoes so he's got something to wear. Um, if we decide to go out somewhere nicey nice, we're not really sure about this resort because it actually has only just turned into an all inclusive. So it is a part of the Dominican that nobody seems to be familiar with. It is actually kind of set into a mountainous region. There is a very small uh, portion of beach, but there is a ferry or a shuttle or whatever you want to call it that will take us over to a better beach. Got to pay for it, of course, but we'll see how we feel. We're not uh, planning anything. We're not committing ourselves to anything. We're just going to get there and see what happens. So um, yeah, so holiday has officially started today. I had a show today. I was at Park Avenue Manor in Burlington, had a great day. Always a pleasure to go there. Don't make a ton of money there, but I really, really like the people. And then I tried to book a show at uh, Burlington Gardens, but uh, Allison was busy hosting bingo for the residents. So I wasn't able to speak to her, but all my May is booked. And um, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to Elmhurst Inn. Oh my God, I'm stunned I remembered. I can never remember the name of that place. Elmhurst Inn is kind of a boutique hotel heading London Way, um, London, Ontario, Canada. And um, I visit a group of quilters every year. I think this is probably, obviously I didn't do it during COVID, um, last year, so I've done it twice since COVID kind of chilled out a bit. Um, but I think this is probably my seventh year with them. And these ladies love to quilt and they love bags. So I am anticipating that I will have a great show there when I get back. Oh, that's itchy for some reason. I don't know why. But that is about it. We are, what time is it? It's nine o'clock. Normally we'd be starting to get ready for bed, <laughs> but not tonight. We may even go down to Rosie's. It's wing night and I've kind of got that stuck in my head. So we may, uh, I did make dinner tonight. So, but that was way earlier. I am so hungry. I hadn't eaten anything at all today. So when I got back from my show, I was like, okay, if you don't want a bitch on your hands, we better get some food. So I made spaghetti is quick, quick, quick. I'm not, not from scratch sauce or anything else. You know, your girl is not a Martha Stewart. So that would not be happening. So we just, you know, put it all together and it was really yummy. It was good. So I am planning to do a few videos from the Dominican. Um, we shall see how far we get with that. Um, I've got to remember our chargers and oh, our experience when we went to Mexico in 2022 was 
the videos are on here somewhere way back and my very drunken public service announcement to not buy your snacks at the resort. $27 US for two bags of chips. So we went to the dollar store today and we filled up with some stuff that we kind of hope will make the trip in our suitcase. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So we're snackers. So we like to have some snacks. The weather is my phone. It says it's going to rain all week. Pice's phone said it's going to be pure sun all week. So I don't know what it's going to be. But I said, let's take some stuff just in case it is kind of crappy weather. I hope it's not. But this time of year, I guess it's entering the rainy season or there. Yeah, I guess it would be. So Anyway, it's definitely rainy season here. That's for sure. Good Lord. The weather is going to be horrible tomorrow. Thursday, not so bad. Friday, terrible. But we won't be here, so who cares? <laughs> this was a very last minute trip. And I would not allow Pius to book it until we had paid our lot fees at the trailer. So, but now that it's here, I'm kind of excited to... Um, to go. So I've got my bag for every, like for evening, because I have a very large coach backpack. It's beautiful. And, but it was too big. I mean, I've got my pretty dress on and this huge backpack on my shoulders. So I thought, nope, I'm going to learn my lesson. I'm going to take my little gold fossil. That's ah, a little worse for wear, but for some reason, I just love it. I just think it's a beautiful little bag. So that's going in the house to go into the suitcase and I'm going to sign off and say I'll miss you guys um if I do get a chance to say hi while we're there I will if not I will talk to you when I get back be safe everybody and leather belly of the out <laughs>